This is an ABC News special report. Good afternoon to all of you. I'm Diane Sawyer here at ABC News World Headquarters in New York with George Stephanopoulos because there is big breaking news from the White House. This is an historic political and cultural moment in this country and the issue, gay marriage. That's right. The White House facing a lot of questions this week in the wake of Vice President Biden saying he's comfortable with gay marriage. On Sunday, North Carolina becoming the 30th state yesterday to ban gay marriage. The president made the news in an interview with our friend and my GMA co-anchor, Robin Roberts, down at the White House. So let's go right there. Robin. George and Diane, based upon what you just said, yes, the vote last night in North Carolina, what Vice President Biden said earlier in the week and what his press secretary, uh, Jay Carney, said yesterday and that the president would speak for himself on his position. So I asked the president, does he still oppose same-sex marriage? I have to tell you, as I said, I've, I've been going through an evolution on this issue. Um, I've always been adamant that uh, gay and lesbian uh, Americans should be treated fairly and equally. Uh, and that's why, in addition to everything we've done in this administration, rolling back Don't Ask, Don't Tell, uh, so that uh, you know, outstanding Americans can serve our country, uh, whether it's no longer defending the Defense Against Marriage Act, which uh, tried to federalize uh, what has historically been state law, uh, I've stood on the side of broader equality for uh, the LGBT community. Um, and I had hesitated on gay marriage, uh, in part because I thought civil unions would be sufficient, that that was something that would give people hospital visitation rights and uh, other uh, elements that we take for granted. Uh, and uh, I was sensitive to the fact that uh, for a lot of people, you know, the, the word marriage was something that evokes very powerful traditions, religious beliefs, and so forth. Um, but I have to tell you that over the course of uh, several years, as I talk to friends and family and neighbors, uh, when I think about uh, members of my own staff who are in incredibly committed monogamous relationships, same-sex relationships, who are raising kids together, uh, when I think about uh, those soldiers or airmen or marines or uh, sailors who are out there fighting on my behalf uh, and yet feel constrained even now that Don't Ask, Don't Tell is gone because uh, they're not able to uh, commit themselves in a marriage. Uh, at a certain point I've just concluded that um, for me personally, 